so today we will discuss about antigenic determinants actually on antibodies antibody on antibody so there if you consider a antibody these are light chain and these are heavy chain so they have different type of antigenic determinant so there are three type of antigen determinant first is isotypic second is allotypic and uh, third is idiotypic idiotypic so what is determinant so this different distinguishing feature so if you consider isotypic suppose you have two antibodies first one is like this these are light chain these are heavy and second one like this same as this so if you consider isotypic they are constant region constant region determinants so what if you have different constant region like if you consider these 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 variable region and these area as constant region so they have if they have different constant region suppose if you consider a immunoglobulin g suppose g2 and immunoglobulin g m so they have different constant region constant region means they have different gene in constant region which have b d j and c segment we will discuss it in another video so if you have different constant region so they are they are isotypic in relationship and secondly if you say allotypic allotypic means consider two antibodies and if they have subtle means very slight difference in amino acid sequence maybe in constant region variable variable region there will be much and difference in amino acid so if you will only consider about the constant region so if they have different amino acid slightly different in some areas of constant region suppose if you isolate immunoglobulin g1 and immunoglobulin g2 they are belongs to the same no uh, there's a wrong example if you consider both immunoglobulin g1 it is from mouse and it is from human you will see that they have subtle amino acid very slight amino acid diff, uh, change in the constant region so they are if you, they they are due to the different alleles different alleles different different alleles so for different alleles present in various strains and various species so they you will have various a very slight difference in amino acid so due to this allelic criteria so you we will call it allotypic okay so it is subtle very slight subtle means slight amino acid change and the final is the idiotypic so now we will discuss the uh, idiotypic suppose we have to immunoglobulin that means antibody and they have variable region uh, this area this area and this area okay so it is also have this area this is which is which are variable region so what is the what is idiotypic so the statement is each individual antigenic determinant each individual antigenic determinant suppose they have something their antigenic determinant there and some here and individual antigenic determinant of the variable region so just see this picture this will clear clear the idiotypic determinant so if we consider idiotypes they have different type of antigenic determinant on the variable region so these are variable region you can see these are variable region these are variable these are variable this is two different okay so this is due to these are actually this each and each individual antigenic determinant are actually any determinant are called idio idio type 
sorry i'm 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 wrong edio tope these are actually called edio tope and listen to me suppose same type of antibody all same but they are exposed against different type of antigen suppose it is due to the antigen antigen a and it is for antigen b okay so they will have different antigenic determinant on their variable region so if you have variable region antigenic determinant differences if you have differences in variable region due to the antigen determinant these are these are actual relationship is called actually these are called idiotypic this is idiotypic so this is the whole thing if you can't get it just repeat it 